I don't know how to put this, but I'm kind of a big deal. This is New Music Saturday Part 2, <laughs> and well, is this ever going to be fun, because we have Messi and we have Almark on. So guys, uh, Almark, I know you're just on, but uh, kind of welcome back to the show, and we're starting uh, New Music Saturday Part 2. I hope everyone's excited, because I am, and I'm really pumped uh, for the music we have coming. Yeah, I'm definitely excited uh, too. That's great. I'm, I'm looking forward to listening to it. Can you hear the enthusiasm? She's always talking. All right. So uh, we've got a few new ones here from Peter Klein. The first one you're going to hear here is called Ashes and Skin. Dig this. That was Peter Klein with Ashes and Skin, uh, a very well flowing song, and I kind of really kind of dug kind of the, the midpoint of the song because just the way it flowed, kind of the kind of taper off, but kind of up and down pitch to it, and uh, 
just a very good song all around. I just I always like his songs, just the way he orchestrates them and arranges them. Just because, like you said, and we talked about this on the break, that when he does it, he's only got one shot at it. So it's got to sound kind of a part of the first time around. Otherwise, he's got to redo it and be a completely different song. So uh, who is first for their thoughts? Um, I can go. Okay, I just start. So uh, um, I think it's very impressive to um, to listen to the song and knowing that he has only like one shot to record it and it has to be done then or he has to start all over new. And I really like that it was still very smooth and sound, had his ups and downs, but very, very progressive, still mellow, but had its thrilling moments too. Um, it's really interesting to listen to all the different layers and sound really exciting and kept the listener entertained and interested in the sound. Well, Mark, what are your thoughts on this one? Yeah, man, uh, I thought it was a really good song. Um, he He's always uh, doing these nice little ambient uh, progressions where, um, as you say, he's recording straight, he's probably recording straight to tape or straight to DAW. Uh, I don't know what kind of setup he has. But from my personal experience, before I started using DAW's uh, digital digital uh, plugins and software, I was using Samplitude, and uh, I had just keyboards, and you do all the sequencing and everything right there, you know, and it's a, like he says, one shot, and I think that's what he's doing. So that takes real talent and timing to get it to sound that, that good. And I imagine he has a mixing console, probably a 16 track or something. And uh, it's really cool to see people still doing it that way because that's that's the uh, pioneers of electronic music like uh, Tom Ellard and other people. Um, so it's it's a very good song. I like everything that he makes, and he's been a real support to me too. So uh, very good. Well, right on. So we're going to move into one more song that he sent to me that was a little bit reworked from the EP Candy and Trash. This song is called Submarine. Dig this. Right 
That was Peter Klein and Submarine, and uh, we were talking during the break, and between the vocals and the synths, it does, uh, you can definitely sound, uh, sorry, so sound, so hear an 80s influence in it, and I commented saying that it kind of sounds like the song, uh, the Don't Forget About Me, which I'm sure a lot of people know, uh, especially if you've seen The Breakfast Club. Breakfast Club, yeah. Yep. <laughs> so, who's first on their thoughts for that one? Well, things... Well, I at least listen to it. I'm not sure if he has um, had the chance to listen to it because he has some issues with his microphone, maybe too. But uh, what I really like is that there have been some contrast in, in in the instrumental arrangement and his vocal parts that have been included in the song. And I really like that there was kind of a rough, dark feeling about his vocals and a very smooth progression, still kind of dreamy but um, classic, still um, very vivacious too. Um, I really like that he played well with the contrasts. Very true. And Omar, did you hear any of the song? Are you good to go for that one? Or yeah, yeah, I got to hear it. Um, I find his music very professional. The first time I heard his music, and uh, he's just he's able to um, to get his his emotions out. Um, I imagine he's probably grown up to a lot of '80s goth. And uh, maybe a little dark wave. So it's uh, everything I've heard of Peter Klein is is very good. Well, right on. Next band we're going to do is uh, coming kind of opposite end of the spectrum. This band is called The Corner for the Police, and the song is called The Other. Dig this one.
All right, that was Corner for the Police. The song was called The Other. Uh, very cool rock and tune. And uh, uh, Omar did mention in the, uh, during the break here that it was uh, got that kind of going just blue sound, at least right at the end. And he's absolutely right because it just kind of tied it right in there and kind of just kind of give you that electric look, kick, if you want to call it. Yeah, man, I, um, I heard some sound garden in there. And uh, those guys probably grew up to some, some grunge or something. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Nancy? Yeah, you definitely can't deny that they have some grunge influence in their music. And I really, uh, really like the writing drum beats and the kind of scratchy at times riffage. But it was still imbuing, so it just blended well with the dynamic drum beats. And the vocals were kind of cocky in sound, which I really like and enjoy about um, musicians if they kind of stress their vocals and kind of um, reach um, quite highs and lows in their vocal arrangement and their vocal range. So it was definitely nice listening to. You know, to touch on the sound garden uh, for, there for a second, you're absolutely right because it sounds something like it was like something off of uh, their somewhat breakthrough album called Bad Morfinger, you know, that had outshined and rusty oh, face. Man. Yeah, yeah so, that's my favorite album. It's so like, I can definitely see that there. And actually, you know what, I was listening to the other day, and uh, uh, one of the one of my favorite songs on that song uh, on that album is uh, New Damage. Oh, yeah, that New Damage is the last song on the album. And I just I love the song, and I was actually thinking about that today, too, when I was like, kind of walking around, and uh, it just goes almost, almost humming in my head, right, because I listened to it in so long, so I pulled the album not too long ago. And that's the best thing is I love rediscovering old albums like that. So uh, we're going to get into one more by Corner for the Police. This one is called Hat Topped Head. Dig this. tune uh kind of the kind of uh somewhat poppy rock sound uh with uh the the rock kind of really kind of tuned into it more than the pop so it sounded pretty good so guys your thoughts yeah it definitely um heard 
these kind of pop traits too because it had quite catchy hooks and it was really nice to me too because he has um sassy vocals but still very piercing trench and guitar which so it was kind of balanced so there was definitely some pop traits which made it enjoyable to listen to and get into the song quite quickly but some of uh, the um rock elements were rather dominant so it was nice listening to because they played well, and um, just blend well together. Alaric? Yeah, it sounds to me like these guys have been playing for a while. And uh, I haven't listened to rock in a while, but I can tell you that I hear a little Steve Ray Vaughan and uh, definitely Soundgarden, probably some other grunge influences. Um, and, and the thing is, the uh, I'm a guitarist also, and so I came from metal, and I, I hear... I hear some, you know, rock riffs and probably some dropped, drop D here and there. I'm just not certain. And uh, the guys just really have a good sound. Um, definitely a good band. Roll right on. We're going to get into a band that has sent us many new songs over the past few months. And here's another new one from them. This is The Urchins with Shaker Rattle Now. Dig this. <laughs>
have sent another song absolutely uh, it is i've seen that they that they have come up with another one and they're quite quickly with releasing songs so that's right and that was uh shaker rattle now and another cool song with the urchins and a uh, uh, cool use of uh, uh electronics in that one just a little bit at the beginning so uh i made it uh in a uh, very interesting song yeah it definitely has some nice effects and i really like that the vocals have some distant feel about it they use still incisive and sound but sounded kind of distant and it was really interesting that they try to uh, mix some electronic electronic beats into it to um, change uh, the patterns of sound thereby well, right are you done there or? yeah yeah okay because I, I thought you had something more to say so I just want to make sure that uh, I, I, yeah. didn't, I didn't get you off okay so next up, we're going to get to a band called Stillman, and this is uh, Chaz from Neon Sisters, uh, and the song is called We Are The Trouble. Dig this.
All right, that was Stillman. We are trouble. What are your thoughts on that one? Uh, I really like the um, guitar intro because it was um, kind of thrilling and being in sound, and um, the vocals were were uh, quite um, characteristic, and the whole guitar arrangement throughout the uh, entire track was thrilling and suspenseful in sound, and the drum set was r rather reserved in sound, but was very accomplished too, and blended well with the guitar arrangement. It was definitely a harmonic um, tune. And uh, the vocals were quite characteristic and definitely stand out. Absolutely, definitely a rocking tune. And that was Chaz, and Chaz is from Leona Sister. So, uh, multi talented guy right there. So, next up, we're going to uh, listen to a guy named Layden Robinson. The song is called Almost Forever. Take this. Seems like so long since I've been with you. It seems like it's been so long since I've loved you. It seems like so long since I've touched you. Seems like so long, almost forever, almost forever. It seems like it's been so long since I've been with you. It seems like it's been so long since I've loved you. It seems like it's been so long since I've touched you. It seems like it's been so long, almost forever, almost forever. Almost forever, yeah, yeah. Thank you. 
All right, that was Layden Robinson, Almost Forever. What are your thoughts on this one? Uh, I really, well, you know that I kind kind of like the mellow tunes, and it was kind of sentimental feel in the vocals. They were very smooth and emotional, but they definitely keep uh, um, gained some pace when the drum set, um, drum um, sequence set in, and they kind of right uh, raised to the top and were kind of high pitch and. I really like that they had some bluesy shades to it too. Well, I thought it was a very well flowing tune as well. I really liked the the, the ups and downs. Uh, kind of done very well, so I uh, really appreciate it. And we're actually going to listen to a one more by him, and this song is called Deepness. Dig this. <laughs> Deepness will never go away The deepness is where I stay Deepness inside of my heart Whispering, whispering sweet melody Forever and ever tempting me Blending inside all that I see The deepness will never go away The deepness is where I stay Where I stay Robinson with Deepness, a uh, hard rockin' uh, term kind of uh, middle tune there. Uh, Nessie had to step out for a moment, so we're going to get to our last song of the night. This is Desiccant Dash Night Sucker by Forest Punk. Dig this.
All right, that was Forest Punk with Desiccant uh, Dash Night Stalker. What are your thoughts on this one? Uh, they definitely had a very keen concept behind it. I really liked that they had these eclectic layers uh, in their sound and it, that there were some smooths, but still um, remarkable changes in pace and melody. And they was th there was quite a, smooth, of a quite a smooth progression, but still very exciting elements included too, and that really made the whole song um, very enjoyable to listen to. I completely agree. Uh, very well arranged, very well, uh, kind of the ups and downs and sounded awesome. And that is all the time we have because we pretty much run out of time. So thank you so much for joining us for New Music Saturday. It's been Dr. Bones and Nessie saying Bones out. And Nessie, thanks for joining us like always. Yeah, thanks for having me. And we'll talk to you next Saturday for uh, another episode of New Music Saturday, hashtag NMS. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much for listening, guys. Bones out.